Welcome to the Mobile Money Nation. My name is AJ, and today I'm gonna to talk about the Iris Finance app. Now, if you're into investing and you're also into social media, mixing social media with your investing, you've probably heard of the app called StockTwits, which is a very popular social media app amongst people who are short-term as well as long-term traders. And if you haven't heard about StockTwits, you've probably heard about Reddit, or at least the Wall Street Bets specific forum within Reddit over the past year as being a place where traders and long-term investors can go and talk about stocks. Now, if you were to combine that with the capabilities of a fintech application like Plaid, Plaid is an app that you can use to connect all of your different checking accounts or savings accounts whenever you're connecting those accounts to investing apps like TD Ameritrade or cashback apps or credit cards or any type of financial application. Now, once you combine those together, you have the investment app, you have the social media app, and now you have Iris Finance. And what Iris Finance does is just combines all of those capabilities together and gives you the opportunity to actually, if you are a person who shares your trades online, or if you're a person that follows people who share their trades online, you can integrate all of that into one with the Iris Finance app. And so what is Iris Finance? Essentially, Iris Finance is a social media application that allows you to connect to multiple different investment apps. And so unlike some of the actual investment apps, which may have social media features within their app, this is an app that you can actually use with multiple different investment apps and actually share your trades with the people who follow you. And so typically people who share their trades on social media, once they actually make their trade and let's say TD Ameritrade or Fidelity or whatever investment app that they may use, they didn't take screenshots on their phone of their specific trades, or they may just type it out and say, hey, I just bought these specific stocks, I bought this many shares, or I made this options trade. Now, instead of taking that additional time to take screenshots or type out what your actual trades are, those trades can be automatically shared by connecting those investment apps to the Iris Finance app. Now, at the moment, there are only four specific investment apps which actually connect to Iris Finance, and that's TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, Robinhood, and Webull, and they're working on a connection with Coinbase. So Coinbase should be available soon. If you're not familiar with Coinbase, it is the most popular way for you to actually buy cryptocurrency. And so if you were to connect any of those five investment apps to Iris Finance, every time that you make a trade, whether it's a short-term trade, long-term trade, it doesn't matter. Whatever trade that you make, it would then be automatically pushed to the Iris Finance app and anyone that follows you within the app can see the actual trades that you make. Now, as far as your actual trades and your actual balances, it doesn't show the dollar amount. And so you can make trades without people actually knowing what the balance of your account is. But as far as any gains or any losses that you have based on those specific trades, they will be able to see the percentage gain or the percentage losses. And now typically with social media, most people are only gonna show their gains or they're gonna show the big gains that they had. They may not show all of their losses or they may not show any losses at all. And so by using this app, you can actually get a great view of any of the people that you may follow because these are automated, they can't make up anything. It's gonna be their actual trades. And if they're making bad trades or they're making a lot of bad trades and not as many good trades as maybe they might have shown you in the past on Twitter or on StockTwits, you can actually see the real trades and you can follow them and follow their portfolio. And not only that, but in the future, you'll actually be able to copy the trades of whoever you follow if you choose to make those exact same trades. And so unlike some of the other, when you're just using a regular social media application like Instagram or Twitter, People can post whatever they want, and it may only be the good trades or the trades where they made a lot of money or made a lot of money in a short period of time. Now they won't be able to hide once they connect their specific investment app to Iris Finance, all of their trades will be shown, and so they can't hide behind only showing you the good trades and ignoring their bad trades and not sharing those on social media. So I do believe that this app, as far as people that you may follow who share their trades, it's really gonna weed out the people who are really good at trading or really good at choosing long-term investments. You're gonna be able to see that, and then you can weed out the people who are just sharing their good trades and not actually sharing the bad trades that they make. And so there are many individual investment apps that actually have those social media features where you can either share your trades, you can follow people, you can have people follow you, and you can just share 
information or talk about any particular stock or whatever may be on your mind. And the bad thing about those apps as far as the social media aspect is that if you were to share that information on an app like Public or Moomoo, the information is only shared on that one application. And so if you're a person that's only using that application, you wouldn't be able to automatically share those same messages on another platform. And so now instead of taking screenshots in your TD Ameritrade account to show your trades, and then you may also be using Robinhood or Webull, if you're using multiple investment apps to make your trade, it makes it really easy because Iris will aggregate all of those trades into the Iris app so that you don't have to take screenshots and share different apps information. Whatever apps that you may be using that specific day, it will all show within the Iris Finance app. So it's really great that you can have all of those different accounts connected in one essentially social media app. Now the Iris Finance app itself, it is not a trading app. You do not create an investment account to trade within Iris Finance. All it does is connect to the investment accounts that you already have. Again, TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, Robinhood, Webull, and soon to come Coinbase. And there may be other investment apps that will connect with it in the future. We will see if they add other apps, but some of the apps that have the actual social media aspect integrated within their app, I can see where, you know, maybe in the future, they may not want to connect with an app like Iris because then that will take people away from being within their application on a regular basis, you know, multiple hours per day, essentially, because then they could just do it on Iris instead. Now, this app is currently in beta mode, so there are many features that, you know, once it's no longer in beta mode that may be added. Again, currently you can't copy trades of other people, but that is a feature that you will have access to in the future. And my guess is that you'll also be able to make money off your trades. So if you're a person that shares a lot of your trades and there are people that are copying your trades on a regular basis, that may be an opportunity for people who make a lot of trades or maybe have a lot of followers to actually get paid by Iris in the future. And not only that, but if you actually wanted to invest in Iris Finance, while it's not a publicly traded company, it is a company that you can invest in as a private company using the Republic app or the republic.co website. And I'll have a link to their actual page on Republic. So if you wanna actually invest into Iris, while they're still a private company, you can do that as well. I am not currently an investor, but I am certainly thinking about it. And as I continue to follow Iris's growth and see how far it goes as far as how many people on StockTwits and Reddit and all of the other social media applications where traders share their trades, if they start to use Iris as well, then this could actually be a really good investment potentially in the future, but you never really know with private companies. It is very early stage. And even the app itself is currently in beta mode. So who, who knows how well it's gonna go in the future. But you will have that opportunity and I will have a link to their website in the description below. I'll also have a link directly. So you, if you wanna try out the Iris Investment app, I'll have a link so that you can download it. It's available on iOS as well as Android. So for those who may already use StockTwits or maybe you're a member of the Wall Street Bets forum on Reddit, or if you use social media to share any of your trades or any of the investments, long-term investments that you make, is this an app that you're already using to share your trades? Or is this something that you would think about using in the future now that you can automatically share your trades if you use one of the investment apps that currently connects with Iris Finance? And if you're a person that wants to follow people who make trades, whether it's day trades, swing trades, or long-term investments, is this something that you would wanna to use to try and follow other people's trades or in the future copy their trades if it's someone you follow that's very successful and maybe you wanna actually make the exact same trades that they're making and invest in the same stocks that they're investing in. Let us know what you think in the comments below as well. All right, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. If you're not a current member of the Mobile Money Nation, all you need to do is hit the subscribe button down below, hit the like button because you really like this video, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video just like this. Again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.